hello guys and welcome to this tutorial today in this tutorial we are learning how to draw a complete building plan from the ground floor to the first floor to the elevations and also to the roof plan so in the part one of this tutorial we learn how to draw the ground floor plan and in the part two we learn how to draw the first floor plan of this very building plan later on we shall look at how we will draw the elevations, the front elevation, the rear elevation, the left elevation, and also the section of this very building. So, in our today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to draw the roof plan of this very particular floor plan which we have on our canvas. So, to get started with the roof plan, we're going to consider the layout of the first floor plan. Now, we can choose to draw a flat roof. And we can also choose to draw a hip roof but for this tutorial we're going to learn how to draw a hip roof so to get started i'm going to select the polyline tool and that will help me to be able to trace out the layout of this building so i will select this point and trace it out until i join it up All right, so when you're done tracing uh, the layout of this very building plan, you can press the escape key to exit the polyline command. And the next thing we're going to do is to offset the layout so that we can get the apes of this very particular building. So to do that, we we'll type O for offset and press enter. And I would like to use offset distance of 500 millimeters and I'll press enter. And then I can offset this polyline which I created to get the apes of this very building. Then I'll press enter and then I can now erase the initial polyline which I created. So the next thing I'll move this polyline to uh, a blank space on my canvas so that I can be able to draw the roof plan. So select move to and from here I can move this layout to this point and this is the layout of our roof plan. So the next thing I'm going to do is to determine the slope of these uh, very roof um, I would like using for the five degrees you can choose any uh, slope of your choice maybe 30 or 35 and so on but the same approach the same pattern of drawing the roof is also applicable so for me to do that I have this icon called the polar tracking icon and when I click on this you can see the list of different angles which I can use so when I'm drawing a line with the help of the polar tracking, I can be able to track in 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 135 degrees, 180. So depending on the angle you choose to use, you have to make sure that that is being checked. So already I have 45, 90, 135 and 180 checked. So I'll go back to my canvas and I'll select the line. And at this point, I'll draw a line at 45 degrees because that is the slope which I choose to use for this very building and then the next thing again I'll draw another line at uh, 45 degrees from this other edge and after that I can use the copy command and I'll copy this line to the opposite side so I will select this copy to this end and I'll copy that to this end and to this point so what I'm going to do is I'll copy all the lines to all the edge and I'll do that in a fast forward mode. So when you're done copying this line to the edge, the next thing you're going to do is how we can join this line up. And to do that, we'll make use of the fillet command. So type F for fillet command and press enter. And we're going to make use of zero as our radius. And then we press enter and we select multiple from here. So with that, we can now select these two lines and join it up select this and join up select this and join it up so after that we're going to select line two again so where we have these lines meeting we're going to draw a straight line and again we're going to draw a straight line from this point to this point and the next thing we'll also draw a straight line from this point to this point and again we're going to make use of the fillets to to join some of the lines again so type f for fillets and also select multiple remember our radius is zero so we can join these lines and these lines this way all right the next thing again would we'll select line 2 and we can draw at this point also at 45 degrees and then 
also at this point will draw at 45 degrees and then again we'll make use of our fillet tool so type f for fillet and press enter and we can join these two lines and also we can join these two lines again we're going to select line two and we draw a straight line and also here we're going to draw a straight line this way and after that we again use the fillet tool and we select multiple in this case so we join these two lines and also we join these two lines and again repeat line two and at this point we can also draw another line at 45 degrees and we also draw line from this edge at 135 which is also 45 degrees then after that we type f for fillet we press enter and we can now join these lines and again we join this line so you can see that this is going to be the structure or the shape of our roof so i've been able to do that in a 2d or in a 3d diagram so if i click on the 3d diagram you're going to see the 3d diagram of this uh, roof plan so in 3d our roof plan is going to look like this in 3d okay so that is for 3d so let's go back to our floor plan or our roof plan so the next thing i'm going to do is that i'll offset each of these lines so that we can form a close boundary for hatch so when i click on the roof plan which i've made you can see that there is a hatch on the roof so for us to be able to achieve this we're going to hatch or we're going to offset this roof plan or the lines that are forming this roof plan so to do that i'll first select our layout and i'll type x on the on the keyboard for explode and i'll press enter so these lines will be separated and the next thing i'll do is i will use the offset command so type o for offset press enter and here i'll use offset of 80 millimeters so i can offset each of this line to the left and to the right so i'll offset all the lines to the left and to the right so i'm going to do that quickly in a fast forward mode so once we are able to offset all of these we can now also make use of fillet command and we are going to join all these lines together to form uh, a close boundary where we can now be able to uh, also hatch these boundaries. So again, we'll press or uh, we'll type F on the keyboard and press enter. And remember the radius we are going to use is zero because we don't want a curve. And then we we'll select multiple and we can now pick each of these lines. So I zoom out so that you can see this. So we pick this line and also this line and we're going to join it up this way. Then we can also pick this line and we also pick this line and we join it. And then we we'll also pick this line and this line, we join it. We pick this line and this line, we join it one after the other until we form a closed boundary. So I will do this in a fast forward mode so that we can save time. So we are done joining up the lines using the fillet tool. You can see that all layout or the layout of this roof plan is going to look as good as this, as neat as this. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, draw a little arrow so that we can show the direction of the slope of the roof. So I will go back to where I have this diagram, and what I will do is I'll pick. A line and I will draw at 45 or 35 45 degrees and I'll repeat the same line I'll draw at 45 degrees and I'll repeat line also I'll draw this way I'll draw down this way and uh, I'll use the trim command I'll trim off these lines and I'll also trim off this line then the next thing I will draw a circle I'll select circle with two points so I'll use this point and this point so this forms the circle so after drawing this I can select this and I want to scale it down so I will type S 
C for scale and I will select this base point and I will type scale of 0 0.8 and I will press enter I will type 0 0.8 as my scale and I will press enter or I can still scale this down so I repeat scale and I will scale it down by 0 0.8 again 0 0.8 and I will press enter so I have this so with this I can now copy this and I'll copy it to this point, to this point, and to this point, 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 and to this point. So the next thing after this, I can select this and select rotate. So with this, I can rotate to this direction, and also I'll rotate this towards this direction, and then I'll select this and I rotate to this direction. And then I'll move these. I'll use move and move that to this position. And then I'll select these and I'll rotate that towards this direction. And then for these, I'll rotate these towards this direction. And the same thing, I'll rotate these towards this direction. So when we are done with this, we can erase the remaining. Or we can erase this or we can delete this. So after this, we can now apply the hatch to this roof. So the next thing, I will type H for hatch command and press enter. And I can select this uh, close boundaries for my hatch. Select this point. I also select this point. Select this point. I will select this point. I will also select this point. This point. This point. This point. This point and lastly this point and press enter and the next thing is we want to apply a pattern to this hatch so we select the hatch and we right click and select hatch edit so there is a pattern which i use for this so on that pattern here select this point and i will select this very particular pattern and click on ok and i will set the scale to uh, at least 2 or 1.5 and i'll click on ok so this becomes the nature or the layout or the roof plan for this particular building so if you zoom out you can see that this is a building and also if i go to the initial plan which i made you can see that this is the nature of our roof plan so guys this is how you can draw a roof plan using autocad uh, software and in our next tutorial we're going to learn how to draw the elevations and also the section of a building plan so stay good and see you next time in our next tutorial don't forget to like and to subscribe also share these videos and this tutorial to your friends if you know it is helpful and useful thanks for watching and i'll see you in our next tutorial